Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam or XJaws, and today I've got a pretty surprising game for you. Um, for the third time in a row, I'm bringing you guys a firing range gameplay. That's a little bit weird. Uh, this is also my third video in just two days. And on top of that, today I'm actually going to be talking about the gameplay, believe it or not. It's something I haven't done in a long time, but it is the reason why I started my channel, to talk about the gameplay and to try and help other players, some uh, less than average players get better at the game, or average players become better players, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the three things that I wanted to mention in the beginning of this video, because they are so abnormal for me. Uh, also today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the Express playlist and it coming out, and also what it's like to be ranking up again. What it's like to kind of sort of have to go through another prestige mode uh, which I have not done in a while the things I do and don't like about that so without further ado number one thing I want to talk about right off the bat here is the Express playlist the next best thing since sliced bread I freaking love this playlist guys and I really want to emphasize this uh, to some players out there uh, basically the Express playlist it makes me want to just say I told you so to all the haters. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have never seen this video before, you can go back and you can watch it. I uploaded this video a long, long, long time ago talking about Ghost. I think it was on the map Array. It was within the first month of the game's release. And I said, pretty simply, um, that I didn't like Ghost. I really think it shouldn't be in the game the way it is at the time. And I think that players should only be able to shoot down air support using Strela missiles and Sam Tarts. And I got a lot of hate for this. Uh, this was, you know, pretty controversial, controversial video that people did not respond well to because a lot of my fans apparently like to use Ghost and didn't like the fact that I was saying that it was a relatively, I don't want to say easy perk to use, but just a cheaper perk. You know, it made things a lot easier for you to flank and uh, it made things easier to, to play a little bit cheaply and to catch players off guard and to not put you in situations where you've got fair gunfights. And, and I don't really like things in this game that that allow you to not be in fair gunfights. I would rather everyone, you know, use the same gun and everyone uh, have to deal with the same thing that everyone else deals with. That way it can, you know, bottom line, the bottom line of that will be um, who sees each other first and who can get their shots off better first. So with all that said, the Express playlist lives up to the hype and more. I absolutely love it. Uh, when you take away the, the player's ability, um, to hide from the UAV, it changes the way the game is played so significantly, and you, and you really wouldn't think this. I wouldn't have thought it before. I know many people are probably saying the same things to themselves, but I did not think the game would change the, the way it's played so much if you just change that little thing. I mean, second chance being gone, that's a minor. I mean, it's nice that it's not there, but that's minor. But when you take out second chance, a two kill streak, which you just saw on my screen, a two kill streak with the UAV and hardline on, um, it will last very long, obviously. it's not, I mean, it sometimes gets shot down, but even if it doesn't last that long, it's going to show you where all the players are, and you're going to know with absolute certainty, something that you usually can only trust 50-50. Usually half the players got ghosts and half don't. So because of that, you've sort of got this, what I like to call baby blackbird thing going on. It's not quite a blackbird, but it is showing you where all the other players on the team are with absolute certainty, so you can pretty much use that to get yourself to a blackbird like 50% of the time, if nothing else. Like it's it's pretty easy to take yourself from a UAV to a Blackbird and then to a Chopper Gunner. And that is what I've been rocking on this Express playlist 24-7. That's what I love to do. You'll see in this gameplay, I think I do it two, maybe three times. I did it once five times in a game. I got shot down by a bunch of Strela missiles, which is something that you will run into on the Express playlist. It's the one downside to it in my mind. Um, but you can just do this over and over and over and run train on people. Um, you know, Woody's, as I just mentioned before, uh, Woody's Gamertag did say uh, this in his video that you will see a lot of Strela missiles, and that is sort of true. You are going to run into some Strela missiles because a lot of people know that they don't have their ghosts anymore to protect them from the kill streaks, um, which is the, the one downside. Um, but it still does not make this playlist, you know, not worth playing. It is still amazing to, to get in here and, uh, you know, experience what I'm experiencing, what I love so much, and maybe you guys can kind of understand why I don't like ghosts that much. Maybe some players who uh, are frequent ghost users who watch my videos uh, will sort of see what what I see when I um, when I look at ghosts because of how great the gameplay is when you don't have that in the game when it's not there to change things or um, 
pollute things, I guess you could say in a really mean way. Uh, so anyway, um, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, just some, some tips for ranking up, I guess. I could combine tips and talking about ranking up into one. Uh, you're going to notice in this gameplay, I was using the AUG, um, I think with Hardline, Sled of Hand and Ninja, or Hardline, Sled of Hand and Marathon, and uh, then I picked up a FAMAS and, and ran train with that for a while. And that's basic stuff right there. I think we all are at the point in the game where we all look at those guns and just say, that is basic shit, Sam. You need to switch it up, and you need to use the Kipparis, and you need to use the, the Mac 11 and the, the dual Scorpions and all that stuff. And while all those guns are great and a fun time when you use them for some people and uh, fun or cool to get gameplays with, uh, bottom line is most of my uh, viewers are just you know average or below average players. And I think what happens is that a lot of people in the YouTube community, opposed to people who just, you know, play Call of Duty and never, you know, really watch the YouTube videos about it, I think people who are in the YouTube community who just watch these videos, see that all the commentators tend to switch towards those other guns when their viewers ask for something different. And then because of that, they begin to think themselves that they need to do the same thing, that they can't be using the AK, you know, uh, 74U and the FAMAS and the the um, the AUG, I don't know, all these good guns because their favorite commentators are saying, oh, hey, you know, if you want to um, go above and beyond, you use these different guns. So what I'm going to say is if you're trying to rank up, if you're trying to do things practically, trying to keep a good kill-death ratio, don't do what I did on my, my X Jaws account that fucked up the kill death ratio and use the Olympia and the Scorpion and the Kipris all the time. Uh, use a good weapon, use the FAMAS, use the AUG, use the Galil, uh, use the AK-74U or the MP5 or some, some good weapons that'll help you out uh, in the situations. And, and the, the AUG and the FAMAS, both great weapons to use on uh, a tight map like this one. Um, and I've, I've spoken about this before, but I'll say it again. The, the hip fire on the FAMAS uh, with its rate of fire is a fantastic combination uh, on small maps like firing range because it gives you the ability to win a lot of those close range gunfights that would typically only be won uh, by the submachine gun user when you know an SMG and an AMG um, you know not AMG what is that an SMG and an assault an AR, AR, AR uh, come face to face. So you got to be careful uh, about what your gun choice is on this map. You might not want to go with something like an Enfield or an M16 because you're going to run into those close quarters combat situations and you're going to get effed. Um, so without further ado, last thing I want to mention really briefly at the end of this video is the new map pack comes out either today or already came out today or comes out tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure 100% when I'm going to get this video up, uh, but I will say this. I probably won't get a chance to play it and post gameplays from it for a little while. Uh, by a little while, I mean a couple days because I'm probably going to be at college and I'm going to be sorting stuff out. Now, this could all change, you know, tomorrow morning when I get to college and I find out I have internet connection and the works and I can get on and I can play. But I'm just bracing you guys. You might not see a, a new map video from me for a couple days. Sorry about that if that happens. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like rating. It helps me out a bunch. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.